so this is the first installment. We're gonna do. We're gonna talk to the Billies. Uh, this particular segment, and here with us tonight we have uh, Trent. Will you please pronounce your last name hey, so everyone Trent knows? Kowalik. It's pronounced Kowalik, ladies and gentlemen. Let that be. Let's set the record right now. It's Kowalik. We heard the name pronounced several different ways over the course of the opening night, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm David Alvarez. It's, it is David Alvarez. Yeah. Did you hear anybody like beat it up after the like anybody like of the recorded reviews or anything? No, never actually. I'm gonna say hi, Kirill, but I want Kirill to pronounce his last name. Actually. Will you say your whole name the way like your family would say your name? Kirill Kulish. Kirill Kulish. Yeah. But my mom calls me Kirusha, which is like when I'm at home, I don't know, it's just like a name that Like a pet name she has. Yeah. <laughs> Kirusha. Yeah. Does anybody else call you that? Just my brother and sister, that's it. Can we call you that here or would that embarrass you? You can. Yeah, yeah. seriously? Kirusha. <laughs> so, um so you're not on stage right now? No, I'm on standby. And what does that mean? That means if uh, Billy, who's on, gets um, injured or g feels sick, then I can be ready to go on if anything happens. And so that's your job tonight? Yeah. Like, like, like for, for instance, like what could happen that you'd have to go on? Uh... The Billy could twist his ankle, let's say. That something that simple. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's actually a lot of opportunity to get hurt in the show, isn't mm -hmm. there? What are you doing other than doing interviews for the video blog? What do you do uh, during the show? I eat lots of chocolate. Yeah, man, you're like Reese's peanut butter cups, yeah. right? You were just, you just finished. He just finished slamming one. You know, or maybe two or three were in your mouth when we came yeah. down, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's you got a little sweet tooth there, don't you, man? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we play trouble. Oh, the game trouble. Game you trouble. don't cause trouble, although you probably do cause well, some yeah, trouble. Both. Down there. <laughs> and um, you know, I think that's it. During that little fight thing that happens in Act Two, oh, yeah. you actually ended up getting your your hand stomped on. Yeah, I got crushed. Yeah, and and, and I, I remember thinking about the fact that you still had all of the electricity to do, mm -hmm. and you have to use your hands, especially for a lot of the acro, right? Yeah. So what did you end up doing? Because I ended up going for a round off layout. So a backflip with no hands, because I didn't want to put any pressure on it, and I did it. It was awesome. <laughs> it, was, it really was. It was amazing. Because I'm thinking, oh yeah, you got to use. And, and he, I mean, you have to understand, he he was just completely airborne. It was it was. <laughs> you'd never done that before in that number, right? No. no. It was spectacular. I had so much adrenaline. I'm like, okay, I got to do this, and I just went for it. Yeah, it was awesome. It was great. <laughs> I've got a, a, a short list of questions. I know a lot of people are asking, and they may be tough. And if you just if they're too embarrassing, or you don't want to say anything, just feel free to say, "Greg, back off." Mm -hmm. um, but first of all, <clears throat> how long ago did you actually audition for the show? Uh, about three years ago. Th three years ago. <laughs> yeah. Which means you were how old? Uh, like about nine. About. You were nine. Nine. Now. Did you hear about the, the show, or did they f see you perform somewhere? Um, well, actually, I was an Irish step dancer, and one of the Irish step dancing teachers recommended me to do the audition, and I did it. So, were you an Irish step dancer here in the States? Yeah, but it I went over the world, mostly in Ireland and England, to do competitions. I auditioned um, two years ago um, in New York City. I was already living here, because I moved like four years ago to New York. And then I got Nora Brennan, the casting director for children's casting director. She called me, she said I should try out for the callbacks. So I did. And all I knew was ballet. I didn't know how to tap, sing, or I don't know, just those crazy things they make you do here. Acting. Acting, of course. Right. So I had to learn that throughout the way. So I really don't know how they picked me or why they picked me. I think it was a year and a half ago or two years ago when I auditioned first time in California, in LA, I auditioned and then about two to three months later I got a call back to come to New York for like a 10 day intensive where the Stephen Daldry, the director, was there and Peter Darling, the choreographer, everyone was there and the dialect, we learned the dialect, which is crazy hard at first. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 I agree. Montreal is where you're from before you yeah, lived in New York, right? Yeah, I was born right? there, but then I moved to San Diego, California, because my dad found a job there. I s spoke Spanish at home, and then at school I used to speak French. And then I moved to New York, uh, sorry, I moved to the um, United States in San Diego. And then I had, I had to start learning English, and that was a bit hard. You, you really learn English? 
yeah. as your third language. Yeah. And then you had to learn this dialect for the show. Yeah, that was also hard because when I was in, in the auditions and then I got the part and everything, I had to learn proper English first. And then I had to learn a dialect, so that was even harder. Oh, so that's like twice the work, really? Yeah, pretty much. Because you're, 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 Jordy is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, really terrific. It, it, was it hard? Yeah. What would you think was the single hardest part about preparing for this role? The stamina, doing all the rehearsals and keeping up your stamina throughout everything. So it just takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Well, so where'd the dancing come from? Was that your idea or? It, I think I just wanted to start because my sisters were doing it and I used to watch Michael Flatley a lot on the TV. Oh yeah, Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that was that's what, my my kids too. The River Dance show. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's mind blowing. So, so you did wait when you did your competitions. Was it solo stuff, or was it group stuff? I mean, how? Uh, solo did, stuff. Yeah. So it would just be you, alone with like some music playing, and just hoping your, yeah. hoping your brains out. Yeah. I ran to Aaron Lazar on the street, and he goes, "Yeah, one of your Billies lives in my building, and uh, they're always playing concert music, like CDs and stuff." And then he goes, and then I realized, no. That's not a recording. That's you <laughs> playing the piano. Yeah. So you're also uh, an accomplished pianist, right? Yeah, I play the piano every day. Even after, like, at 11 o'clock, I come home, 11.30, I sit down and play for 20 to 30 minutes. I've seen, like, videos of you on, on, on YouTube. It, it, you can actually go to YouTube and, you know, Google Kirill, and, and there's there, I know one video of him performing at a concert. It's, you're absolutely beautiful. I mean, really fantastic. I, I heard that your mom was an actress. She used to be one of the top actresses in um, Cuba. But then she moved to Montreal and she just decided to step off it and just... And be a full-time mom. Yeah, help us out. So, because i got to tell you, your, your acting is exceptional mm -hmm. in the show. Like, you, you blow us all away. Thank you. And uh, do, do you do you attribute that to? Did anybody? Has anybody? Has your mom have been helping you or? Well, my mom does help me a little bit, but no, not really. I just I guess I was born with it. So, um, opening night. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything that like stands out in your mind as like being like really cool about opening night that you want to share? Like anything happened that was like extraordinary? The audience is so energetic and into it. It, it really was an exceptional crowd yeah. that night, wasn't it? Well, it's actually my first time I've ever done a Broadway show. It opening a Broadway show for me, and as a as a belly, it's really nice because I've never done anything like Broadway, never. So, it's really nice that the first thing I do on Broadway, it's really big. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, this is really big, man. Yeah. I've never been to an opening night. It was just so cool. It was this huge like space. It was like an underground, like mansion i don't know it was so big and there was like a dance floor and games for like the kids and so what kind of music so it was like like contemporary music just any no just any music really really any music from any time like hip-hop or, or no yeah. everything yeah just everything I mean, what, what, were, were, were you dancing to everything or is there one type of music you prefer to dance to i don't care it's whatever's on were you dancing with any uh, any ladies in particular <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Sorry, I won't ask another question like that yet. It was hard to find people though. There, it was so big. I know. Like I may I have. Couldn't, I, I may was have, looking for the I other. I didn't know buddies. that I saw you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it was. It was huge, wasn't it? It was so big. Yeah. It was amazing, and then getting to be in the same room as Elton John and getting to meet him and Kevin Spacey and all those big stars. There were so many people at the time that I didn't really get to register everyone, but. It was pretty, it was cool meeting these people. <laughs> yeah, there were, there were a lot, weren't there? Yeah, there was... There were a lot that yeah. we didn't even see, too, yeah. weren't there? It's like you look at the press afterward and you go, oh, they were at the show? Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. It was fun, and I couldn't wait for the next days, because I thought, well, rehearsals were going to stop, and we were going to have more days off, but not really. It's, it's not the case, is it? It's actually a little bit harder, because, well, at least for me, because I have, still have rehearsals. We still have shows, standbys, and have to be at the theater. What 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 is school for you now? Um. Well, right now I'm tutoring. Now are you t is, is I'm the tutoring. Um. I'm tutoring either not at the theater anymore. I used to tutor at the theater. Now we tutor usually in the morning at a dance studio. What is a typical day for you? Like if, now I that we're. I get up. 
I right. go to school, then I'll have, it can be anything. We'll have ballet, and then we'll have a rehearsal for something, and then we'll have, we might have a tap call, we'll have, an, we'll have notes. It all depends. It's different every day. Sometimes we have like flying rehearsals during the day. And what does that mean for people who haven't seen the show? Well, the, in the second act we have, there's a dream ballet scene when Billy dances with his older self and there's a whole like pas de deux with him and then at the end of it, Billy flies up into the air and there's this whole flying sequence which is really, really, really fun. Is it fun? Yeah, it's really fun. It's at the end of the dance when you're like so tired but then when you're flying, it's like an experience that you'll probably like never, I'll never probably be able to do after Billy, you know. It's yeah. Fun. How long do you think you're going to be with the show? As long as I can. Yeah? Definitely as long as I can. Um, until my voice breaks or I grow too tall. Can we stop like feeding you so you don't grow any taller? <laughs> And you know, you know, your I'll voice doesn't change. Time. All right, good. Um, we're coming up to the end of Grandma's song, which means I gotta go run to the show. But uh, thanks very much for doing this interview. I know that uh, a lot of people are gonna be checking in because they've been asking to talk to the Billy. So mm -hmm. th thanks for giving us some time here today. Uh, Trent Kowalik, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out with us. No problem. Um, I'm glad to, that you want to be here as long as you uh, can, because because yeah. I know we're we're really grateful that we got you because you you're. you're you're an asset to the show, I hope you know that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, everybody, this is David Alvarez. You're doing a show tonight, right? Yeah. So, uh, you break a leg tonight. Thank and, you. And uh, thanks very much for sitting down with us. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, wait, say your name again. Say, say your pet name that your mom calls you. Kirusha. Kirusha. <laughs> We're here with Kirusha. Listen, uh, tune in for our next installment of uh, Backstage at Billy Elliot. And uh, buy your tickets. Thanks very much, Kirill.